A new puppy can be an exciting and challenging experience with lots of new things to think about and do. There are many things to consider when bringing home a new puppy and one of these is how you need to groom them to keep them looking fresh and clean whilst maintaining and keeping an eye on their health. This can be an excellent bonding experience between you and your puppy. So in this video, we'll take a deep dive into all you need to know about grooming your new Chow Chow puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. If you just had your new puppy or adopted a Chow Chow, it's important that you follow a grooming routine. This will help them stay happy and healthy and ensure they're looking the best they can be. Chow Chows have a double coat that needs to be looked after to keep it looking clean and healthy. It's important that you firstly brush your Chow Chow with a slicker brush combined with a metal brush and a pin brush twice a week to ensure their coat stays tangle free. It's best if you dampen the fur down with a spray bottle as this will make the brush go through the fur easier and will also help clean the coat. You should always brush your dog's coat in the direction of hair growth. This will make it pain free and will also help you get any shedding hair out easier. Chow chows can sometimes have a doggy smell due to their thick double coat. To prevent them from smelling they should be bathed every six weeks to stop their coat from becoming dirty or greasy or if they get very dirty on a walk especially in winter. Chow chows should go to the groomers approximately every six weeks to make sure they're looking the best. At the groomers you will have the option of three different cuts and these include the puppy cut, the lion cut and the teddy bear cut. The one you choose is all down to your own personal preference on style. It's important that you buy a good quality dog shampoo as a lot of chow chows do have sensitive skin. It's best to buy an organic or hypoallergenic sh dog shampoo and never use human shampoo on any dog as shampoo made for us has different pH levels that will irritate a dog's skin. Always make sure you wash your dog's undercarriage, legs, paws and tail. You should wash their face with a flannel and never put the hose or water directly over their face. When you're bathing your chow chow, it's a good idea to brush them first before bathing as this will stop the bathtub or shower from getting blocked with hair. It's always a good idea to check your chow chow's mouth, eyes and ears weekly. Many things can be discovered from a dog's ears. For example, if they have any allergies, the inside of your dog's ears may look very red and be warm to touch. You'll find that dogs tend to get more ear infections than other allergies animals. It's important that as soon as you notice any issues with your dog's ears or your dog's itching its ears or shaking its head a lot could be a sign of an ear issue. Some symptoms to look out for with ear infections include an odour, any discharge in their ears, redness, head shaking, your dog may rub their ears on the floor or any other surfaces for relief and they may scratch their ears a lot more than normal. If you notice any discharge in the ear you should remove it by dipping cotton balls into some warm water or ear solution. Never use any q-tips to clean the ears as this will likely push the wax further into the ear and burst the eardrum and it can cause harm. You should also check your dog's eyes regularly too, as they can tell you potential health issues. For example, if you notice that their eye whites have turned yellow, this can be a sign of jaundice or liver disease. If your dog's eyes look cloudy, this can be a sign of cancer, an autoimmune disease, diabetes, infection, trauma or cataracts. You should always keep your chow chow's eyes clean, remove any eye discharge or wipe around the eyes gently if they have any watery eyes to prevent staining under the eye area. Another area to check is your dog's mouth. You should encourage your puppy from a young age to let you open their mouth and look around. This will get them comfortable with you looking and feeling inside the mouth. This will also help if you need to take something they should be chewing out of their mouth too. You can also tell a lot from your dog's mouth. For example, if they have pale or white looking gums, it could be a sign of anemia. If if your dog ever has pale gums, you should seek veterinary care straight away. It's important to keep your chow chow's teeth clean. Puppies start with 28 teeth. During the age of 6 to 7 months, they'll start to get their 42 adult teeth. Teething for puppies can be a difficult time for both you and your puppy, and it's a good idea to buy your puppy some teething gel to help the process. This will also help with them getting used to things in their mouth. Your chow chow should have their teeth cleaned twice a week to stop plaque and tartar from building up. This will also stop your dog from having bad breath. You should use a dog toothpaste that can be sourced from any pet store or various online retailers. Some will come with a finger toothbrush for you to use, but you can also use a new human toothbrush. Just make sure they don't swallow any of the bristles. The last area you should check for good grooming is the paws. You should be checking your chow chow's paws every few days to make sure there's no issues with their pads. During summer and winter times, particularly in snowy times, you should ensure you wash your dog's paws after every walk. This is because 
because of grit. Grit that's spread on the roads and pavements can really harm your dog's paws. It should always be washed off and a paw balm can be used to create a protective barrier for their pads. It will also help your dog's paws during hot weather when walking on pavements in the early mornings or evenings when it's cooler as a dog shouldn't be out walking in the day during hot weather. It's a good idea to use paw balm weekly anyway. Paw balms will stop pads from cracking, becoming dry and tender. It will keep their pads moisturised, soft and healthy. You should make sure that the hair between your chow chow's pads is kept short, as if it's left to grow, it become very dirty and cause infections. The last thing to ensure your chow chow's paws are properly groomed is to ensure their nails are trimmed monthly. If you don't trim their nails frequently, they will become overgrown, and overgrown nails can cause issues with your dogs like pain. It also puts pressure on your canine's paws and legs, which can change their posture. When you can hear your dog's claws tapping on the floor when they're walking then it's time to get them trimmed. If you're trimming them yourself don't take off too much nail as they do have nerves and blood vessels in their claws. It is very important that you maintain your chow chow's grooming to ensure they're healthy and happy canines. It's also a great way for you to bond with your canine. Getting your puppy comfortable with having their paws, ears and mouths touched and inspected not only helps the bond with you but also makes them comfortable if they take a trip to the groomers or have to visit the veterinarian. If you follow these grooming requirements you can find issues early and ha get help for your chow chow before these issues become serious health conditions. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated chow chow videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Chow Chow Show.